In this video, we will be going over some helpful wave chat features. First, we will talk about message read receives. These will let you know the status of messages you sent to someone. This checkmark icon indicates that your message has been sent out successfully. The eye icon indicates that the message has been seen by the recipient. Read receives can be enabled or disabled from GDMS if you use Cloud IM or from the UCM management portal if you use an IM server. In an international work environment, it can be daunting to remember the local time of your team members across the globe. With WAVE, you can see the local times of your team by looking at their contact details. When viewing an image in chat with the WAVE image viewer, you can rotate the picture and share it with other WAVE contacts and groups. In addition to sharing pictures, you can also forward selected messages and files to another chat. You can send these messages and files in one consolidated message or as separate individual messages. As a consolidated message, you can see all the forwarded messages and files in a separate window. Finally, we will talk about end-to-end -end encrypted chat, or E2EE chat, which allows for secure and private messaging between two parties. Group chats do not support this feature. For detailed instructions on how to set this up, click on the Learn More link here to open up the guide published on the Grandstream documentation website. Once an end-to-end -end chat has been created, messages and files sent between two parties will be encrypted. Now we will look at how the encrypted messages look from the other side. As you can see, the messages have been decrypted properly. However, if one of the accounts is logged in from another device, this device would not be able to view the encrypted messages without the secret key from the original device. As you can see, the messages that we just saw cannot be viewed on this new device. To do so, we will need to obtain the secret key from the original device, which you can see on the screen here. You can either export the secret key to a file and upload it to the new device, or you can scan the QR code using the Wave mobile app. You can now see the previously encrypted messages. I hope this video has been helpful for understanding more about the Wave chat features. Thank you for listening.